high adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol. Let me go! Let me go! Interesting. Very interesting. You people have the same nerve centers that we do. Our scientists will take great delight in a specimen such as you. Stand by for exciting action on Space Patrol in just one moment. Plotting room at Space Patrol headquarters, Buzz Corey, Commander in Chief of the Space Patrol, his cadet Happy, and Carol, the Secretary General's daughter, are checking over the fleet position chart. Information has reached Buzz that somewhere out in deep galactic space, a fleet of mysterious raiders has been leaving a path of destruction through several nearby star systems. The Commander in Chief is well aware that the United Planets could be next for an attack that could mean complete annihilation. This section near Pluto better have another seven fleet units. Defense perimeter is weak there. There's so much area to cover, and we don't have half enough ships. Oh, well, we never have to match them ship for ship. The planet Alpha 3 was almost completely destroyed. These star raiders must really pack a wallop. Every planet they've attacked has been reduced to rubble. That's what puzzles me. They don't seem to try to conquer the people. They just destroy. Almost like they were destroying for the sheer pleasure of it. Yeah, but why would they do that, Commander? Well, after all, we've had completely warlike civilizations in our own. Well, what are you doing here, miss? This is a restricted section. My name is Maliva. I came to tell you about the storm. Storm? What storm? Storm on Terra? Are you kidding? We don't have any storms because of weather control. Should I escort her out of the office, Commander? You are going to have a storm. Very soon. All right, exactly when are we supposed to have this storm? Now. <laughs> Stop. It's fantastic. You see, I can tell you what's going to happen. All right, what's going to happen now? There are going to be many fires on the planet Earth, in the forest, and natural reserves. Happy callers, Space Patrol. Tell them to watch for suspicious craft in the wooded areas. All right, sir. Space Patrol Headquarters, Terra calling Space Patrol Headquarters, Earth. Space Patrol, Earth, go ahead. Commander Corey requests that a watch be put on all wooded areas and natural reserves. Suspect possible arson. We've had ships out there for 10 minutes. This is Commander Corey. What's going on down there? We've got about 70 forest fires, sir. They all seem to start at once. What? And we can't find the origin for any of them, Commander. You think your fire units can get them under control? Yes, sir. If no more fires break out. All right. Call back for emergency aid if you need it. Corey, out. Smoking rockets, Commander. What are we going to do? This is beginning to look kind of spooky. Everything that's happened has evidently been planned ahead. So this young woman must have a confederate someplace doing a little job of weather changing. And fire starting too, sir? Yes, that's too heavy. Take her into custody. Yes, sir. Don't move! Oh, she's got a sword, not a sword. An electrofoil. With this weapon, I need but effect a touche, and the electric charge does the rest. I increase the power. Now, every one of you, do exactly as I say, and it will not be necessary for me to touch the cadet. What is it you want? Over here, cadet. Commander Corey, you and I are alike in one respect. We're both warriors. The honor code must never be broken. I keep my word, if that's what you mean. In return for your cadet's life, I want you to agree to come with me wherever I want you to go. Don't do it, Commander. It's a trap. Those are my terms. Will you come with me, or does your cadet feel the charge of my electrofoil? Neither. <laughs> I thought you were a man of honor. 
threatening Happy's life is hardly an honorable way of discussing things. All right, Maliva. Where do you want me to go? I'll be glad to go with you. My apologies, Commander. You are a man of honor, a true warrior. I respect you for that, as long as you're not going with her. I gave her my word. But it's obviously a trap. That may be, but I want some answers. I don't think I'll find them here. Well, I don't suppose it would do any good to ask if I could go along. I'm sorry, Carol. What, what about me, Commander? Won't you need a co-pilot? I don't know, Happy. Well, I'd like to see this thing through with you, sir. All right, Happy. Carol, if I'm not back within eight hours... Carol! Well, where did she go? I didn't see her leave. It's just as well. Now listen to me carefully. Monitor my clearance and follow in your ship at a half a DU from my space car. All right. Let's go. 